Hey cruisers, we are back tonight talking all about Norwegian Cruise Line. This is such a fun topic. Norwegian is such a great cruise line, but with all of the novel concepts that they have brought to the table, like freestyle cruising and free at sea, I think it leaves new cruisers with a lot of questions. Good questions, of course, but we are going to do our best to offer some tips and clear the air on these mysterious Norwegian things that people always have lots and lots of questions about. Before we get started, let's talk about those two things that I mentioned. What is freestyle cruising anyway, and what is free at sea? Let's get that right up front. So freestyle cruising is kind of this concept that was pioneered by Norwegian Cruise Line and the basic idea of this concept is that it does away with the traditional schedules that you'll find in, well, I should say the set schedules that you'll find in traditional cruises. So it gives you more of a loose approach to cruising. It lets you decide when and where you want to eat and with whom and how you want to dress. In fact, there really are no set dress codes on Norwegian Cruise Line, which if you're from the traditional world of cruising, you are used to a little bit more structure around the dress code, and I think it tends to confuse people. Now, with that said, they don't have formal dress codes, but they do have the option of a formal night. In fact, they do have what's called Norwegian's Night Out, which is your optional formal night on board, and they do have a few restaurants with dress codes, like for example, Cagney's and Le Bistro will ask men to wear pants with closed-toed shoes, but it could be jeans and you know, a collared shirt, so it's not like you're wearing a tuxedo on board unless you want to on those optional nights out. So I think that's a really important thing to get out there to talk about and define what freestyle cruising is. We would love all of you in the chat to tell us if you've ever been on a Norwegian cruise, what did freestyle feel like to you, freestyle cruising? What did it mean to you? What did it look like? How was it different? Go, leave it in the chat. Let's talk a little bit as well now about Norwegian's Free at Sea program. Free at Sea is simply Norwegian's perk program. And what it's all about is it allows you, depending on the stateroom category that you book, if you book into the Free at Sea promotion, which has been going on for a long time right now, I don't think it's gonna end anytime soon, which is good because it's really cool. Based on the type of stateroom that you book, you get to choose up to four or five free offers. So if you book a studio or inside cabin, you get one free offer. Ocean View Balcony and mini suites get two free offers and if you book in the haven or a suite you get all five free offers so what are these offers that i'm talking about what are these perks we like to call them perks in the cruising world well they are free unlimited open bar free shore excursions free specialty dining free wi-fi and number five is friends and family sale free. So let's talk a little bit about what these really mean and whether or not they're actually free. So the first one, the most popular, and the one that really, truly, most people do take advantage of, statistically, truly, this is a fact, is the free unlimited open bar. So is it actually free when you take advantage of this? Well, you're still going to be charged gratuities for the drink package, the overall value of the drink package. So technically it's not free because you're paying service charges, but this can be an excellent value for someone that normally likes to buy the drink package. So that's number one. Number two, is free shore excursions. Well, they're free up to a certain point, so you get a voucher towards your shore excursions and a certain number of them. It doesn't mean that you have free unlimited shore excursions and you can do, you know, un have unlimited spending on anything you want, but it is a great perk if you want to get a, get a little bit of credit towards your shore excursions. That's another popular one. But I think that the second most popular one, right behind that drink package, is actually free specialty dining. That's one of the perks that we took advantage of on our last NCL cruise and we loved it. And we're gonna share some subscriber tips on dining a little bit later because this is very much a subscriber inspired episode today and there are so many great contributions from our community. So stay until the 15, 20 minute point and we'll get to those as well. And number five is friends and family sail free. So I think that what that means is that the third and fourth people in your stateroom can sail free on some sailings. So those are the five perks or the five offers, I guess you could say, that Norwegian offers in their free at sea program. And that is what makes Norwegian so unique is that you can get these included in your cruise fare. So if you're booking under free at sea, you can get those included in your cruise fare. Now, you probably are wondering, well, what if I don't want the perks? And there is actually another option. There is a way to sail on Norwegian without the perks. So our tip for you tonight, if you're looking to save some money, because usually these special cabins 
are less expensive is to look for what is called a sail away fare. They're called sail away fares. And when you're researching with your travel agent or on the Norwegian website, you'll see the free at sea promotion and you'll see a smaller price there for sail away fares. I often get messages on Facebook or emails that say, well, I'm, I'm on Norwegian's website, but what's a sail away fare? It's a fare without perks. Now, what you need to know about that is this is a cruise only bare bones kind of a fare. So you are not, sail away staterooms are not eligible for special offers and promotions, including free at sea. So if you're looking to save a little bit of money and cruise NCL without the perks, sail away fares are the way to do it. All right. I have another tip for you guys that Mr. Cruise Tips TV discovered that I am so excited about. And this tip is that you can actually download the Norwegian ship guides before your cruise. And we have linked them in the description box below, but if you really wanna go straight to it, I can tell you the URL. It's ncl.com forward slash downloads forward slash ship dash guides. But check out the description box below and go check them out. So basically, there are these one page PDFs that I've never actually seen on another cruise website. They have highlights and ship facts. So they talk about the gross tonnage of the ship. They talk about the cruise speed and how many crew are on board. And then it has a traditional deck plan and all kinds of um, little deck categories that list what's on each deck. It is the coolest thing. Mr. Cruise Tips TV, nice job discovering that one because I had no idea this was available. And it's normally only something that you can get on the ship. Of course, you can go look at deck plans on the website, right? But usually don't get this cool little ship map until you get on board. And I love it, I think it's so cool. So that is another great tip for you is to check out those ship guides. All right, next up, let's talk a little bit about beverages. If you were ever going to take your own reusable water bottle on a cruise, when you cruise on NCL, now is the time because guess what? NCL no longer allows you to take water or soda on board at all and it can be very expensive to purchase it and have bottled water delivered to your room. Now I know Norwegian has lowered their rates recently and that's good, but it's still a little bit expensive. So if you're going to if you're going to, you know, want to save some money, take a reusable water bottle, fill it up at the buffet and you can save some money there. Now, that leads me to my next tip. Well, they've done away with the free water and they've done away with the soda, but what about the wine? You can still take wine on board according to October 2018th on the Norwegian website. As of the time we are filming this episode right now, you can still bring a bottle of wine and champagne on board. If you are going to, um, if you are going to consume it on board though, that you will be assessed a corkage fee. Now the interesting thing about this statement here is that they say that they charge you the corkage even if you consume it in your stateroom. $15 for a 750 milliliter bottle and $30 for magnum size. Now, I don't know if they enforce that. If anybody knows if they actually enforce the corkage fee for consuming in the stateroom, please let me know. And as always, if you're carrying wine on board Norwegian or any other cruise line, please keep it in your carry-on luggage. So let us know in the chat, do they actually charge the corkage fee if you are drinking it in your room? All right. My son's favorite tip about Norwegian, and those of you who have sailed on Norwegian before, you know this one. This is so cute. In the hallways where the cabins are located, if you look down at the carpet, you'll see that the fish swim forward. There are little fish on the carpet and those little fishies appear to be swimming towards the front of the ship. It helps you to keep your bearings when you're on the ship to know whether or not you're going forward or aft. I think that is the cutest thing. So we've got tips from hubby and tips from my son today on Norwegian. Love that one. All right, so you, if, you're, you know, if you're looking down and you're, you're seeing the fish go the direction that that you, you know, you expect them to go, you know you're going in the right direction, but they can really help you to change course if you discover, oh my gosh, wait, I thought I was going forward, but, but I'm not because the fish are swimming the other way. You can shift gears quickly. I love that one, it's so cute. All right, next up, many of you know that Norwegian is excellent for solo travelers. Norwegian is really leading the way in the industry right now with their solo cabins and their solo lounges. We had the pleasure of touring um, the solo lounge or the solo studios. The, the studios are the rooms and the lounge area is sort of a private 
cool complex for people who are staying in those studio cabins to hang out, have some complimentary refreshments, get to know one another. And actually on some of the ships, they actually have singles guides or they have sort of like a, the person is kind of a dedicated employee to help um, singles get to know each other, to um, go places in groups if you wish to, and it's just a really cool feature. Now that doesn't mean that you have to sail in a studio cabin, which is a little miniature cabin. We have lots of studio cabin um, tours and information on our channel. If you just search for Norwegian Bliss, you can find those. But you can also pay the single supplement and sail in a regular cabin if you wish to cruise solo. So no one's going to force you into those cabins and quite frankly they're not always available. They sell out quickly and sometimes they can be a little bit expensive so there are other options. All right. Let's start talking a little bit about food. One thing that's really cool about Norwegian is that they have a lot of options for you for breakfast outside of the usual buffet spots. So if you're looking for a good breakfast and you wanna avoid those buffet crowds, you can try restaurants like Oceans, or if you're on Norwegian Bliss, that would be the local. That's kind of a 24 hour pub. You can even sometimes on some ships go to Margaritaville. We heard rumor that they make omelets in Margaritaville. So I've heard that that's a wonderful way to start your day. Of course, you can always just order room service on your balcony if that's something that you'd like to do too. Oh, and don't forget that Oceans is a 24 seven pub. So it's open round the clock. So you can go have some late night snacks if you'd like to after a nice long night or after a show. And it's just a nice, fun, casual place to hang out any old time. We love those pubs and even though they're simple and casual, they have just really nice comfort food that you can rely on. I like the artichoke dip. A lot of people like the chicken wings. They have really great chicken tenders and fries. I had a delicious Caesar salad there. There are tons of options. They have good desserts, good hearty comfort food that's very predictable and it really just, it, it's a nice staple that I think the line offers. Okay, so Let's talk a little bit, we'll come back to food and drinks later, especially when we get to our subscriber tips, but let's talk a little bit about a packing light tip for Norwegian. Norwegian does something really great and they offer their Latitudes members, which is their loyalty club, if you join that, you, you know, you don't have to be super high up in the tiers, but they offer laundry service twice weekly. Now at the time that we're filming this, you can fill a bag as stuff it as full as you can of your laundry and Norwegian will clean that laundry and bring it back folded and nice for you for $24.95. If anyone knows that the rate has changed, leave it in the chat below so that we're leaving good information for people. But we think that's a really nice perk because we like having the availability of laundry and board, whether it's something we pay for or it is something that we do self-serve, but that's a pretty good deal for the ship paying. Usually the per piece laundry charges are huge. All right. Next tip is that Norwegian offers specialty dining packages. You can buy them for your whole cruise or you can buy them for just a few nights. But there are so many delicious restaurants on board that this is something you definitely want to take advantage of. And in a few minutes, we're going to tell you what our subscribers have to say about that because they feel very passionately about Norwegian dining packages. And we'll see what they have to say. Speaking of uh, booking things and packages and reservations and all that good stuff, you really want to get online at about the 90 day point before your cruise, maybe even a little bit sooner, and start booking your reservations before your sale date for things like dining and entertainment because those things can sell out, shore excursions as well. So get online 90 days or more before your cruise and see if they have released all of those bookings to you. Start booking when you can. You can always change your mind later. All right, next up. Now this is a great one. Mr. Cruise Tips TV discovered this when he was hunting for some Norwegian tips. And this is a really practical tip for those of you who like those really gnarly water slides on Norwegian. So you know those free fall racing slides or the drop slides, they all have different names on the ships, but Norwegian Bliss has one of them. If you're planning to go on one of those free fall slides where you drop down the chute, know that you cannot take any accessories or cameras with you on those water slides. You need to leave those in your room, take the stuff off and leave it in your room or you'll be walking down those long, that long set of stairs that led you up and you will not be very happy. Here's a list of things you cannot have on your body. I will save you the trouble from listening to me for the next few minutes by telling you that you can't wear anything other than your swimsuit. Truly, I'm not kidding. Listen to what you cannot take. No GoPros, no watches, no watches, no earrings, no earrings, no earrings at all. No wedding rings, 
glasses, bracelets, necklaces. They're really serious too. They will have you take it off. I did see someone get away with a wedding ring though. I will say that I saw that happen, but I personally wouldn't risk it because I wouldn't want to snag it. And when you are traveling at that rate of speed, forget about it. I don't want any <laughs> injuries. I don't want my ring getting stuck on a rivet. That sounds terrible. So those are our power tips for Norwegian today. And now what we'd like to do before we get to some questions, and we will definitely be doing that, is we would like to share some of the insider tips that our subscribers have shared with us this week on Norwegian. How are we doing? Doing okay over there, Mr. We're doing good. You, just you know, I wasn't paying full attention, but I want to clarify that I think the price on that laundry is mm -hmm. a promo. I think they, promo. they do have it every cruise, but it's not all the time. It's I not all the time. Yet. Yeah, so you have to wait for them to give you the offer, the twenty four ninety five offer. It, you have to wait for it to show up in your room. It's not something that you can just get all the time. From our experience, that's the way it's been. Thank you for the clarification. All right, I see that we have lots of questions um, coming in and I'm going to get to those in just a few minutes. Trisha, Sissy, I definitely, and Ginger, I see all of your questions and we're gonna get to those soon. But first, let's go through our power tips from our subscribers. Susan says, and I saw this in the chat earlier today too. This is a really good tip, you guys. If you want access to the, pr the private adult-only sun decks like Vibe, you need to make sure you get to that port early, get boarding number one if you can, and walk really, really fast. I like how they didn't say run. Walk really, really fast to the designated area where you can buy the Vibe Pass before it sells out. Vibe is an adults only area on some of the newer ships where you can have access all week and it's just really tranquil and nice and private and it's only sold to a very limited number of passengers. So if you wanna pass, get it early. Richard said um, that he's had excellent experiences with the studio cabins and the lounge for um, NCL. He said that they have special coffee in the Solos Lounge and in other places you pay for that coffee. So take advantage of the Solo Lounge if you're cruising on NCL. All right, talking about dining again, Heather said, awesome tip for those of you who like to, to drink, I guess drink beer. Heather said, take advantage of the pub tasting on board. It's about $17 and was informative and fun. You get to test out five to six beers and you also get a full one of your fave at the end. Stephen Shannon, I think you guys should try that one. So I think that sounds like a blast, and thank you, Heather, for that excellent tip. That is a really, really good insider tip. Amanda said that um, if you sail without a beverage package as a perk, you can buy a bottle of liquor from the bar. She said they actually have a liquor bottle menu at the bar. So they'll give you some sodas with it. I think you get five or six sodas and you get a bottle of liquor. It's like a hundred bucks, it's a lot. But when you, make, when you buy a round of drinks and it's 50 bucks, that bottle's gonna go a lot farther. So ask the bartender for a bottle list and perhaps you can buy one and take it back to your room and drink it. Awesome tip, Amanda. All right, Sharon, um, says that you want to try as many of the specialty restaurants your budget will allow. They are excellent. We totally agree, Sharon. I've never met a specialty restaurant on NCL that I didn't love. They are exceptional. From teppanyaki to Cagney's to Moderno Churrascaria to the new um, Los Lobos on Bliss and I believe it was Ocean Blue on Bliss. They are phenomenal. Highly recommend. Spend the money. Get the package. Margaret said that they had a beverage package as a perk. She highly recommends that as she does getting the dining package and making your dining reservations in advance on the website before you cruise. Patrick talks also about booking in advance. Booking in advance was one of the number one tips, you guys, that we got from our subscribers. So if you're cruising on NCL, do not wait until you get on that ship to book your reservations for dining and entertainment or you're gonna be disappointed, okay? So Patrick said, make sure you make reservations for any show or comedy club on day one. So if you don't reserve in advance, try it on the ship on day one. Get to the shows early if you want a good seat. And of course, he says, book specialty dining before you get on board to if you want to get a certain time and a certain day. That's what you need to do. Okay. Stan says, book everything online. It'll save you money and aggravation um, rather than booking it on board and try everything that they offer. Kathy says, here's a tip for you about the entertainment. If you're going to one of the shows and it's sold out, they may have a standby line. So let's just say Jersey Boys is, um, is sold out or the, your app or the reservation system doesn't allow you to make a reservation. Go to the standby line and try to get in. She thinks that you might be able to do that. Barb said that you don't wanna miss the epic Beatles show. It is the best show on the high seas. 
along the same lines. Carolyn says the Million Dollar Quartet is amazing. She said if you go to Million Dollar Quartet, sit on the left hand side down near the front behind the piano. She said it was unbelievable and her teenage daughter who was sitting behind her tapped her on the shoulder and said, Mom, is that guy really playing? It was that good. They thought it was like not real. It was that good. All right, and Barb said, make those show and dining reservations before you cruise. There's a theme here. You need to prepare before you cruise on NCL. I think that's one thing too about Norwegian everybody that really throws people off for the first time. If you've cruised on other lines and you just show up to things and you, you have a set dining and then you cruise with Norwegian, you're faced with all of these choices. It can be overwhelming for a new cruiser, and if you're not prepared, it can be off-putting because if you can't get the reservation you want, it might be discouraging. So follow everyone's advice here, folks, and book in advance, book in advance, book in advance. Okay. All right. So here we go. I'm going to read some questions here. Trisha, you're first. Do they let you choose which perk you want? I'm allergic to alcohol, so free drinks wouldn't be best. You betcha, Trisha. You pick whichever perks you want as you're checking out on the website or if your travel agent's doing it for you, they're going to help you out with that. There's absolutely nobody telling you you have to get that alcohol package. In fact, the last time we cruised with NCL, we didn't. We got, um, at the time, they were only offering one perk and we got the specialty dining package and we're really glad that we did. It made more sense. Um, Shorty, I think that they give you a seat when you arrive. I don't think that they have, um, I don't know about Cirque du Soleil on Epic. I don't, I don't know if those are reserved seats, but normally in the theaters, they're not reserved seats. Um, Sissy wants to know, you're going to Alaska. You wanna to go to Alaska for your 15th anniversary, does NCL go there? Yes, they do. Sissy, Norwegian Joy, and Norwegian Bliss will both be up there, and maybe one of the older ships will still be sailing in summer of 2020 as well. Ginger said, how much do people usually pay with all the upcharges on NCL? Does it end up being the same as all the other lines? No. Ginger, in my personal opinion, I think it's more expensive. Generally speaking, I think that you generally do pay for it a little bit more, unless you book a sail away rate. Now, is it worth it? It depends. It depends on if you're gonna take advantage of all that stuff. Um, I can tell you cruising on Norwegian Bliss is a pretty upscale and amazing experience and I would pay more for it. So for me, it's worth it, but for ev everybody else, I'm not sure. Yes, Valerie, the studio cabins on NCL are very tiny, but they're adorable and they're so efficient and they're so cool. Mr. Cruise Tips TV, um, would you remind me to link to our video tour of those cabins after this in the comments? Um, Valerie, we, if you want to just go to videos in the, um, there's a tab on our channel that says videos, just search um, Norwegian Studio Cabin, you'll find it. We have tours. They're so cute though. I love them. Christine said, is the Haven more expensive? Yes, the Haven is more expensive, but for some people who like the ship within a ship concept, totally worth it. Nurse Nancy, I think the Vibe Pass might be about 100 bucks. Anybody know how much the Vibe Pass costs per adult? I really don't know, I'm guessing. So let us know, folks. I checked it out. It was 25 per day okay. and 99 for the week. And okay. someone in the chat helped out with that as well. Great, perfect, sounds good. Alan said, is there a restriction on the tube water slide? What kind of a restriction, Alan? Do you mean a weight restriction? Um, I wanna say, oh, I can't remember. I'll have to check for you. Um, Christine, most of the shows are free, but there are some upcharge shows on Norwegian. There are some, but a lot of them are free. Okay. <laughs> oh, Joe, thank you so much. You like my Dia de los Muertos planter. Joe, I got that at Trader Joe's for $9. Do you guys like how I always tell you where I buy things and how much they cost? So funny, huh? I'm so bad that way. Ginger, thank you so very, very much. I love it. Appreciate you so much, Ginger. You've become a wonderful friend over the years. We appreciate you. All right, We're, are we doing good on keeping up with questions, Mr. Cruise Tips TV? <sighs> All right, so Carolyn's confirmed, a lot of other folks have confirmed 99 for the week per person for Vibe. Michelle said no weight restriction on the tube water slide. Thank you, Michelle. I know Michelle was on one of the inaugurals, right, Michelle, weren't you? Does NCL cruise to Europe? I think that they do, Heather. I, um, I don't have their website pulled up for me right in front of me right now, but probably. For those of you who are interested in seeing the Studio Cabin video tour, Mr. Cruise Tips TV has put that in the chat. If you're watching this on replay, you would just simply go ahead and click on the live chat button to watch it and you can watch that video tour. It's really cool. All right. Um, thank you, Wendy. I'm glad you like my little flower. I needed a little flair tonight. I didn't want to wear any jewelry, but thank you so much. Um, let's see here. Okay. Um, yes, you can just buy the drink package, but it's very expensive. They've raised the drink package again, and it's something like a hundred bucks a day. So I would just choose it as a perk. Honestly, I think it's just too expensive. So, um, 
Okay, let's go ahead and talk about our giveaway tonight because we have six more minutes. Mr. Cruz Tips TV, we're gonna get started on the giveaway, okay? So this, this is an international giveaway and US, Canada, you can live anywhere in the world to enter this. We have a Norwegian Bliss, um, what do you call this? A luggage strap that goes around your luggage. We're giving one of these away. We're gonna mail this from our home. And we also have a Norwegian Bliss inaugural cruise lanyard. It's a card holder. So this is something you can put your card in. So I'm going to tell you how to enter. It's very, very easy. All you have to do is let us know if you were going on a Norwegian cruise, what two perks would you pick? And um, it, tell us what country you're from just for the heck of it, just because it's fun to know where everybody's from. We don't care. We'll mail it anywhere to you. But the, um, the way to enter is what two perks would you pick and what country are you from? Oh, good. We have more questions coming in. Okay. Oh, Andrea Rea, I love your question. You want to know what activities will be there for your son. Which Norwegian ship are you going on, Rea? Andrea, I'm sorry. Your name's not Rea. I apologize. There's no way a 10-year-old boy could become bored on Bliss or any other ship in Norwegian. They're insanely fun for 10-year-olds, teenagers, and kids. First of all, the kids' centers are very modern. They have all the latest video games, and they are so interactive with the kids. My son does not like kids' centers, and I couldn't pull him out of the Norwegian kids' center. That's just a little... A little info for you. If you want to watch our Norwegian Bliss day one and two vlogs, we were only on the ship for two days, you'll get a feel for all the things there are to do. It depends on what ship you're on, but the pools, the water slides, the kids center, the arcade. Um, if you're going on Bliss, you've got go-karts. I mean, there's just so much. It's really great for kids and teens. He's not going to get bored. You're going to be okay. Yeah, you're going to be just fine. Linda, thank you so much for the super chat. Really, really, really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, Ella, I have not chosen the winners for the relief band yet, um, but I will be doing that as soon as I have time. I, have, I literally haven't had an extra 30 minutes today to plug everybody's name into a randomizer. So I'm gonna try to do it tonight or tomorrow if I can. So I'll keep you posted on that. Okay. Um, Dorothy wants to know if you can buy day thermal passes, and if so, where do you buy? You would buy them at the spa. It varies by ship. I do believe you can buy day passes to the thermal suite. Yes, that should be fine. Okay. All right, let's see here. Um, I know, right, Barb? I agree with that. That'd be super cool. Okay. All right. Hi, Kimberly. I see you. I see you, girl. Okay, let's see here. Um, Shorty said, what do you think about the Encore? Are you planning on going on it? You know, we just don't know yet. I'm really excited about it. I'd love to go on Encore. And I, I, I really, I think it's going to be exceptional. Bliss was so mind-blowing to me that now I just get really excited about all that Norwegian is doing in the future. So I sure hope so. I think it would be such a fun ship to take the family on. And if you'll remember, my husband didn't get to go with us on Norwegian Bliss on the inaugural um, sailing out of LA because we were limited to two people. And so he stayed home, so he still hasn't had the experience. So I'm dying to get him back on one of these amazing, amazing classes of ships. They're just so fantastic, so. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and leave the giveaway open for one more minute. Okay, and I wanna go ahead and answer some more questions. Let's see here. Okay, Diane, you had an earlier question about Pride of America. You realize no casino, but same perks you haven't, no. Um, Diane, they aren't able to offer the same free at sea um, package in Hawaii because of the cost of labor and things like that over there. So I do believe that free at sea is very different for Pride of America. Um, I don't know exactly how that works, but okay, um, let's see here. All right, Mr. Cruise Tips TV, how we doing? Okay, he needs just one more minute and then we'll get those in. Okay, gotcha, let's see. Uh, let's see. I know we're missing questions, but we've got time to scroll through just a few more. You're welcome to retype them. What I'm trying to do is get past the, um, all of the entries. Ginger, yes, there is a giveaway. It's um, leave your favorite two, the two perks you would choose and what country you live in. I think Mr. Chris Tips TV has already selected a winner though, so I think we're, I think that we're already there. Okay, the winner is um, Ella W. Ella, <laughs> congratulations. Ella, didn't you just ask about the relief band? 
Well, Ella, you are the winner of the Norwegian Bliss pack here, and I will send these out to you. So Ella, what I need you to do is email me at Sherry, S-H-E-R-I, at cruisetipstv.com, your home mailing address. Um, please do not leave it in the chat. I know I say that every single time. You guys are gonna get so tired of me saying that during Vlogtoberfest, but we don't want anybody leaving that here. Okay, congratulations, Ella. Okay, let's get some more questions answered, all right? Um, Jennifer said, you missed what the Vibe Pass was all about and if they have self-serve laundry. No, Jennifer, I don't think that they have self-serve laundry on Norwegian. The Vibe Pass, Vibe is an exclusive adults only, generally outdoor area on these ships. It's kind, it's, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to describe it, but it's hard to because I've never actually enjoyed it because I have a child and so I wouldn't take him. It's an adults only area, but it's kind of like a, um, a slightly upscale and private lounge where adults can hang out, make friends, and it's limited to a certain number of sales per sailing. So if you want to get the Vibe Pass, you have to kind of rush to the area where they are sailing it. Okay. Let's see here. Gonna get some more questions answered. Um, NCL, yes, Christine, NCL does have longer cruises. Um, so filter on the website by longer cruises. Um, I'm trying to read that one. How many dining options are on the getaway that are not specialty dining? Tons of options on getaway that are not specialty dining. So you should have the buffet, you should have the main dining rooms, and you should at least have either an Oceans or some kind of a pub. And there's probably lots more. I don't have the getaway pulled up right in front of me right now, but lots. There should be lots. Okay. Oh, Shorty wants me to talk about bidding on upgrades. Yes, I can definitely talk about bidding on upgrades, but I want you to listen to Cruise Radio podcast from last week where um, they just talked about the Vibe Pass. They just talked about the bidding. It's a really good one from Doug Parker, so go listen to it, but I will tell you the way that it works. So what happens is when you book with NCL, um, you could potentially get an email to bid on an upgrade. So you will be bidding at a price that is per person. So let's just say Mr. Cruise Tips TV and I were sailing in a, an inside cabin and we got an offer to bid on a, on a balcony, an upgrade to a balcony or an outside cabin. We would submit our bid for whatever amount. Like let's just say we submitted it for $100 per person and then we would wait for Norwegian to reply to let us know if we got in or not. So you you do not then when you get that upgrade, you do not get to pick the cabin you're in. You only get to pick the category you're in. So if you do not want to lose a specific cabin that you've chosen, don't bid because you're going to have no control over that. So that's the basics about bidding. Okay. All right, let's see here. Oh, Celestine, I'm glad that you enjoyed the Alaska sailing on Bliss. Okay, yes, Rebecca, the restaurants on Norwegian are absolutely worth booking. One of our top tips for cruising with Norwegian is to book as many restaurants as you can fit into your budget, but absolutely buy a dining package. If you're going on a seven night cruise, we do recommend a three or four night dining package. Try what works for you. Cagney's, the steakhouse is good on all of the ships. We really enjoy the teppanyaki. We also really like the Moderno Churrascaria, which is a basically um, it's like a Brazilian steakhouse. They walk around with meat on sticks and they like carve some of the meat and some of it's already um, grilled and placed into different like cuts. And so they might put like a chicken leg on your plate or a chicken breast and it's just a wonderful experience and the salad bar is exceptional. Okay. Carolyn, thank you so much for listing off some of those. All right. Isabel wants to know if anybody here has gotten an upgrade. We're going to log off in two minutes. I'm gonna to try to grab a couple more questions. Lisa Marie, my goodness sakes, thank you so much for that very, very generous super chat. We so appreciate it. That's incredibly generous and thank you, thank you. Um, let's see if we can get a few more. Oh, okay. Um, Christine Levesque, I still don't understand your question about cruises only, but Maybe retype it and see if we can reach it. All right. So tomorrow night, for those of you who would like to come back and join us again, tomorrow night we'll be talking about MSC cruises, tips and tricks for MSC. I know that MSC is 
not as familiar to some of you as other cruise lines that you may have heard about in North America, but they're becoming very popular here. And we've had our first cruise on MSC two months ago, had a really awesome experience. We're really excited to tell you about some tips and tricks for booking MSC and what makes it different. All right, Amanda, yes, NCL does sail out of San Pedro. They are right now currently sailing a very, very short little um, group of sailings down to the Mexican Riviera. And um, they do have a, a few other ships that rotate seasonally here in California as well. Okay, I see some good ones. Um, yeah, Shorty, you might be able to get a price drop or a price adjustment. Um, work with your travel agent on, on that. It's always different. I'm gonna try to get a few more. Any more Mr. Cruise Tips TV that I've missed? Okay, all right everyone, we're gonna sign off tonight. We hope that this has been super informative. If we have missed your questions, which we always do miss a few and we realize that and we apologize, please message me on Facebook. It's so much easier and it's just an instant way for me to connect with you and get back to you quickly. We hope you'll join us tomorrow night and also Friday night. Both live streams are 6 p.m. Pacific. Friday night we're talking all things Royal Caribbean and we cannot wait. We have some power tips from Matt Hotchberg from the Royal Caribbean blog that we have gathered that we will be sharing with you very early on in the live stream. Matt is such a generous guy with his tips and his time and we always really appreciate um, the fact that he's willing to help us out and collaborate on these things. So we've gone to the expert and we've got some good information and we will see you tomorrow. Friday, and then again Saturday, because it's Vlogtober, guys, and we are daily vlogging. Thank you all so much for being here with us, and until next time, we'll see you on the high seas. Hey, click me to subscribe.